I don't know because, I don't know, after traveling all that time yesterday and today, I think I'd rather just sleep in tomorrow and kind of explore the city a little bit. But, you know, maybe maybe I'll actually do it. Maybe I'll actually wake my ass up and uh, start my first day of Muay Thai tomorrow. So we'll see. I'll keep you all up to date. Um, not sure about the barbecue thing, uh, but we will see. I think there's going to be a lot of people that I meet on this adventure. So, yeah. But here it's very easy. But if you are in the south, they are very annoying, you know, even to me, you know. And you've been here for over 20 years. Yeah. You know, we are... Remember, it's in a rayon, it will stop, and then, then you call me, the 50% discount. Yeah, <laughs> they really didn't want to let me go, you know. What's up, guys? Um, Just got done talking to mom and her husband for, like, 30, 40 minutes. Uh, we're about to go and eat some barbecue. I can't wait. It's only, like, 180 baht. All you can eat. All you can eat buffet for less than $6. This is this is just it, it doesn't get any better than this. So I'm gonna go and put my shoes on, grab my fanny pack. Yes, I have a fanny pack, but it is what it is. Um, and we're gonna go smash. Very often. Yeah. Oh, before we bring like twenty. Oh. What? Yeah, was, we oh. bring the whole gym down. <laughs> I know they liked it though. Yeah. Puppy power. But you know, it, a buffet barbecue is go, okay to go eat. But the restaurant and everyone want to eat different things. Oh, two hours. Damn. All together. Before you guys would... everyone got food. Two hours. Oh, you had to wait for yeah. two hours. Oh. Yeah, 20 people. Everyone ordered different food, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why it's always good to do buffet. Yeah. Because you could just get it and go. Yeah. You know? No waiting. Yeah. Just only waiting for a table, maybe. Uh, uh, before we make a uh, Saturday night, we eat together at home. We make barbecue and something like that, you know. But when I have more than ten people, oh, it's impossible. It's what impossible. More than ten people. Yeah, because yeah. Oh, the trainers. And... Yeah, they have to do cleaning, preparing, oh, and teaching. Oh. A lot. Yeah, lots of work. So. Yeah, tiny, tiny, narrow roads. Yeah. Big old truck. Is it easy to own a business in Thailand? Like... Like as a foreigner? Yeah. Mm. You got, if, if you know the right people, kind of? It's yeah, easy. let's you say... You cannot trust Thai. Let's say... Let's say, buy the paper. It's easy. Okay, it's not super easy, but it's easy. Mm -hmm. But what happens? You have a rule that 51% must be Thai person in the company that you sell. Wow. Well, so, so your employees you get, have to be Thai. You get all this fucked because you cannot trust. You know, even if he's a lawyer, blah, 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 you have always the problem. I never met anyone that they didn't get fucked. Girlfriend. <laughs> Also cannot trust, okay? No trust girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people have told me that. No, no but in most is that foreigners, we are seeing like, you know, they have the money that falls from the sky, so they try to grab from you whatever, you know. Mm. But if I would say open a business, don't open in Thailand. No. Mostly now. Is it, it and like having a gym? Is it the same as because it's your business? So very bad idea for now. Very yeah. Bad idea. Oh man. Also, yeah. normally also bad idea, but you have to know the people a lot if you're only foreigner. So you gotta have a friend, a friend who's a general, an uncle who's an, a cop. <laughs> yeah, but you need all the connection in the uh -huh. Thai community, no? Right, right. Like you, yeah. you, you guys know a lot of people in Pai. Yeah. No, no. We need in the world. So yeah. I have who I work in Malaysia, 
who I work in Japan, who I work in China. So it's just exchange favor, no? I send the people there, you send here, fight there, fight here. I make the show in Korea, I send her doing the presentation, blah, blah, blah. All like this is only by friendship that works. And it takes many years. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not like, you can have as much money that you want, but the gym is not, boxing gym is not made by equipment. It's made by people. How right. do you get the people because you know them? Relationships, because, Yeah, because networking. even if you pay them a shitload, they don't come. If you don't, they don't like you, most of these type people, you can pay whatever, they are not gonna call. Mm. Normally, no. So they're not, mo like the locals aren't motivated by money? No. No, 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 they just, if it's difficult to explain. Like, they, okay, like when they want to talk, when Thai people want to talk something about the fight, they, they don't want to talk to him. Yeah. They talk to me. Interesting. Uh, but if he's in international fight, they, they talk to him, mm. not talk to me. Mm. Uh, like this. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Uh. Mm. And so basically, if they want, they, they fight for international and they want the Thai person there to speak with me. But if, for example, maybe they want the foreigner person for the fight in Thailand, they need to, to talk speak to me. To speak with yeah, me. Like this. It's so yeah. different ways, you know? And normally they don't talk to the woman. Right. In Muay Thai society. So, so it's, it's not you easy. woman and then he yeah. for wrong, yeah. so they it's don't not, know what to do sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy to step on this position for the woman. Interesting. Okay. They have many gyms that uh, have the woman name, but the people who control everything is the man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Thai man, you know? Dang. So do you think you could have a gym by yourself, mom, or no? No, I mean no, no, no. Because I, because uh, the to to make money is not to build a Thai fighter. You need to build the foreigner fighter. Yeah, have to build a foreigner fighter, and then foreigner fighter will bring the student to the gym. Gotcha, gotcha. It's not the Thai fighter. You make it because you like it. Because the Thai fighter is more the expenses. Mm -hmm. than the actual return the, but you can have much winning but you can lose a lot but foreigner maybe less money but steady you know always da, 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 da. right 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 not uh, stressing as much because even before I came out here like I made sure I saved like enough money you know because I didn't want to have any issues but from the Muay Thai documentaries I've seen it's always like, they're always talking about um, like the ties. It, like, I do it because I love it, or I do it because I had to help mom out, or I had to like no, feed my little this, brother. This thing is. Because a lot of good what, fighters. What, are, what the people don't understand about fighting in Thailand, that is not. People, they don't go to the gym. Because they like it. Because like they like it. So the, no, so because it's a job. It's a job. Okay, for that reason now Muay Thai is fucked. Because it's no fight for almost two years. And there's no more job for people that was fighting. As I told you, I have to send away abroad mm -hmm. who, who I could. And the other people, they are with the little hole making the rice field. They cannot do anything else. Because they can make a lot of money for a Thai standard, they can make easy 100,000 in one month. But a normal job, like 7-Eleven job, is mm -hmm. 10,000 a month. Understand? Whoa. Not a whole. 